In September, WhatsApp issued an urgent warning after researchers uncovered a highly sophisticated zero-click spyware attack that has been silently targeting iPhone and Mac OS users. This exploit doesn't need you to click on anything, open a link or download a file. Your device could be compromised simply by receiving a malicious WhatsApp message. Read that again. Your device could be compromised simply by receiving a malicious WhatsApp message. The story isn't just about tech. It has political, economical, and human rights consequences. And we will break it down today. So here's a quick rundown. Researchers discovered that attackers were chaining two vulnerabilities together. First, a flaw inside WhatsApp itself. We call it, in technical terms, CVE 2025 15 55 177, which involved how WhatsApp handles linked device synchronization. Second, a serious Apple OS vulnerability in the image I.O. framework, the part of the system that processes images. These two vulnerabilities together allowed attackers to execute what's called as a zero-click exploit. That means they could infect your device without you doing anything at all. The campaign ran quietly for about three months. Late May through August 2025, fewer than 200 individuals were affected, but these were not random victims. They were journalists, activists, and members of civil society, the kind of people governments and intelligence agencies often target with surveillance spyware. If you are not interested in hearing the technical breakdown, you can skip this to the next chapter. So basically, this, the first step, the attacker sends a specially crafted image or message through WhatsApp. Normally, WhatsApp processes images securely, but in this case, especially applies on Apple and Mac OS devices, the image I.O. component of Apple has a vulnerability that allowed memory corruption, which means basically giving attackers a way to sneak in their own code. In the next step, WhatsApp, WhatsApp syncing flow came into play here. It allowed attackers to bypass authorization and make your device process malicious content from a server they control. And in the third and the last step, they put these together and boom, you've got a stealthy zero-click compromise. No link clicking, no fine downloads, just a poisoned message hitting your phone or Mac. And once inside, spyware can do almost anything. It can steal messages, track locations, activate microphones, and even exfiltrate encrypted chats. What makes this especially dangerous is how invisible it is. Many victims would not even know their phone was compromised until it was too late. Yes, you hear that right. Mac OS is not immune to malware anymore. That's an old saying. You just, we, have, we have to grow uh, above this. Now, let's talk about the political angle. The fact that civil society groups were targeted tells me that this wasn't some random cyber criminal gang looking to make money. This looks and feels like state-sponsored espionage. Think of it as the next chapter after biggest spyware or other surveillance scandals we've seen over the past few years. Governments, especially authoritarian and totalitarian ones, want to keep tabs on dissidents, journalists, and activists. And WhatsApp, used by over 2 billion people worldwide, is a perfect surveillance target. That's why this incident isn't just about software bugs. It's about digital freedom, human rights, and democracy. Now, what does or what about the money side? For WhatsApp and its parent company, Meta, this is a trust crisis. Users, especially those at high risk, are questioning whether WhatsApp can remain safe. On the business side, this creates ripple effects. Think of organizations may be forced to invest more in mobile defense, forensics, and patching programs. Insurance companies could raise cybersecurity premiums. Governments may push for stricter regulations on secure messaging platforms. And let's not forget that the indirect costs, every patch, every investigation, every reputational hit, these things add up to millions or into millions of dollars. So what we should do as users, as organizations, businesses, journalists, what should you do here? All right. So basically, the first thing you want to do here, update WhatsApp immediately. On iPhone, you're going to have to, or you're going to need at least the version 2, 25, 21, 73 on your. Make sure to update your iPhone. On Mac, you need at least 2, 25, 21, 78. So in all cases, update your Mac and iPhone. The next thing you want to do, update your operating system. Make sure your iPhone or Mac is running the latest Apple security patches from late August 2025. The third thing you want to do, and if needed, factory reset your device. This may sound extreme, I know, 
and WhatsApp itself is recommending it for anyone potentially compromised. It's the only way to fully remove spyware. This step is only needed for those who suspect they are uh, compromised, especially if you have been receiving weird WhatsApp messages. Enable advanced defenses. On iPhone, you could turn on lockdown mode. On Android, you could enable advanced protection mode if it is available. And of course, the last thing you want to do, and always stay alert, watch for unusual phone behavior like overheating, battery drain, or apps crashing unexpectedly. These can sometimes be signs of compromise, and not always. You have to look for all the signs. Now, here's the bigger picture. This is, not, this is not the first zero-click exploit. It cannot be the last. It won't be the last, I'm sure. Messaging platforms are high-value targets, and as long as billions of people use them, attackers will keep investing in ways to break them. So what needs to happen? Okay, for businesses and organizations, you guys have to enforce rapid patching policies. Keep your devices patched and up to date all the time. No, no sluggish user behavior. Monitor devices for anomalies. Look for signs of unusual activities. Train high risk staff like journalists or NGOs on how to recognize compromise. We have security awareness training. All right, now for our beloved governments and the industry overall, increase. You have to increase collaboration between vendors like WhatsApp, Apple, and security researchers. We always have to push for stronger international norms against spyware abuse. And for users, be between two parentheses, most people, the first thing you have to do is to stay updated. Always update to the latest version. Use security features like lockdown mode if you are at a higher risk. And of course, never assume that just because you did not click anything, you're safe. Zero-click exploits are on the rise. It's designed to bypass this measure, not clicking on things. So to sum this up, this vulnerability in Apple shows us that the future of cyber attacks is silent, stealthy, and highly targeted. Updating your apps and operating system is no longer optional. It's essential now. At the very end, guys, if you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and share the video. And remember to stay safe, updated, and I will see you in the next one.